Hello everyone, welcome back. So recently the Miss Earth um, organization did this thing called the Beauty of Face competition. And you know what, I wanted to talk about the 10 girls who I actually think are the most beautiful or have the most beautiful faces at this year's Miss Earth competition. The headshots on the Miss Earth website actually do not do a lot of the girls justice, unfortunately. But we are going to be talking about my top 10, the girls who I think have the most beautiful faces at this year's competition. I was looking at, you know, the girls with neotenous features. So basically, neoteny means that if a person can retain some of their youthful features like larger eyes, larger forehead, um, you know, smaller faces at the bottom, baby, basically like think about what a baby looks like and then like how the features could evolve into adulthood. That's basically a marker of youth, people who are more neotenous and keep neotenous features into adulthood are seen as younger, even into their 40s, they could still look like 20. We all know that person, okay? So that youth is a basic marker of beauty to humans and that is science and we cannot argue with that. Symmetry is also a big thing when it comes to beauty. When um, humans look at each other, symmetry is very important because symmetry indicates that you are healthy and that you were healthy in childhood and even in the womb that your parents were healthy and that is all very big markers of health and youth and fertility which in combination equals what we humans perceive to be beauty because at the end of the day it's all about procreation for us humans sadly nothing has changed so with that big darwinian speech out of the way the things that i will be basically looking at to determine whether or not these women's faces are beautiful to me is facial symmetry of course again like i said indicating health and fertility and facial harmony so whether or not most or even all of the features on their face are in harmony with each other meaning nothing is too large nothing is too small everything is just right which of course is sort of impossible that's why some of the women on this list will perhaps have some other neotenous features replacing the harmony that i'm looking for neoteny of course meaning um retaining youthful features like larger eyes perhaps larger foreheads smaller noses bigger lips things like that and then i'm also going to be looking at the overall essence of their face so what sort of essence are they giving off are they giving like strong queenly zozibini tunzi essence or are they giving sweet innocence you know you know what i'm getting at let's just get into this so at number 10, I have Russia. For me, Russia definitely has near perfect facial harmony. Her face is very model-esque, meaning that her growth in her face is perfect, which indicates that she probably has really good genes. And nearly all of her face is in great harmony, except for her eyes, which are huge, which definitely gives this impression that she is youthful, Youth, again, relates back to beauty, fertility, things like that. Russia is definitely one of those people that even into her late 30s, she could probably still pull off 25-ish. She's definitely gorgeous. She's definitely a model. And that's why her gorgeous face landed her a spot in my top 10. At number 9, I have Belgium. Of course, she has perfect facial harmony as well. I think that all of the women in my top 10 have really, really good facial harmony and symmetry. It's just a certain few key details that will differentiate them from each other. So nobody has particularly thin lips, which can be an indicator of infertility, especially in young women. Nobody has particularly overly sized features except perhaps for eyes which is also like a youthful feature so also seen as beautiful by humans but for me at number nine belgium she definitely her coloring reminds me a lot of demi lee nal peters but what i really like about her is her eyes she has very kind 
warm and inviting eyes. She does seem like the kind of person that just can talk to you easy because of her very warm, inviting eyes, which brightens up her entire face. This is very much, I feel, in contrast to number eight, which is Nigeria. Nigeria definitely has very strong, uh, commanding, queenly essence. And her eyes, actually similar to Russia, is also a bit large. But this actually gives a very different sort of essence to her. She definitely has this strong, commanding queen essence, not unlike Zosie Bini Tunzi. I definitely think that Nigeria has one of the most gorgeous faces as well. But it's interesting because her face doesn't give you the same warm, inviting feeling that Belgium has. It definitely gives you the feeling that she is powerful. At number seven, I have Slovak Republic. For me, this woman is just so beautiful. Her cat-like eyes definitely draws you in. They're so magnetic. And her eye color itself, especially contrasted to the rest of her features, which are sort of dark, sort of mysterious, her eye color is so unique and draws you in as well in conjunction with her beautiful cat-like eyes. At number six, I have Vietnam. Vietnam definitely has a very sweet and sort of kind little face. It's sort of childlike in appearance and I definitely would say that Vietnam has the most neotenous features of anyone on this list. Again, neotenous meaning that she has retained the most youthful features from childhood and teenagehood. In fact, Vietnam could pass as a 16 year old in my opinion she definitely will remain looking very young and youthful late into her 40s even 50s perhaps she has a very warm and lovely smile which draws you in as well vietnam's youth is sort of contrasted by number five on this list who is mexico mexico definitely has very sensual features i definitely think it comes from her lips which are very you know plump and um, sort of an indicator of guess what fertility yes it's all about that for us humans but other than her lips that stand out ever so slightly she definitely has a beautifully balanced face which at the end of the day i think that the number one thing that humans look for when they decide whether or not someone is beautiful is symmetry and mexico definitely has that at number four i have puerto rico and puerto rico comes across as very angelic she has very angelic features her brown eyes contrast so beautifully with the rest of her very light features it sort of gives off this little bambi doe-eyed appearance and draws you in her eye shape as well definitely very kind she she just seems like a kind person that you can just go up to and talk to she's not necessarily giving off that strong queen essence that nigeria was giving off she she has a different sort of beauty and that's what i love really is that women can have different essences they can have different features that define them whether it's big lips big eyes um which you know all are indicators of sort of fertility youth and things like that but they can all have different essences and still be very beautiful like puerto rico who has this very strong angelic essence um, coupled with this youth that her brown eyes bring to her look i just think she's gorgeous at number three i have the usa the usa what really got me about her is her big warm inviting smile she also has very very kind eyes of course when it comes to the top three these women's faces are near perfect so they have great facial uh, growth which obviously goes back to dna genes things like that it's obviously a lot of our physical features are determined by our parents our ancestors etc i definitely think that the usa has top notch genes her face is near perfect and so it gives us the opportunity to focus on her beautiful warm radiant bright smile that she has also her beautiful eyes and i must say that her hair frames her face and frames it all perfectly 
Then we move on to number two, which is Somalia. Guys, this woman, it was so, it definitely was difficult for me between number two and number one to choose who I thought was more beautiful, who had the more beautiful face. Somalia has near, no, not even near, she has like perfect facial growth, gorgeous features, very, very kind eyes. This woman is arguably like she's one of the most beautiful. Obviously, she's a 10 out of 10. I already used the word angelic for Puerto Rico, but I cannot help but use the word angelic for Somalia as well. She does give off angel presence. She does seem like she's very, you know, demure and wise. <laughs> That's the essence her face gives off. And I just think it's so interesting that when different women give off different vibes with their faces. Again, I must go back to Nigeria, who has this very distinct, strong, powerful essence when it comes to her face. In contrast with Somalia, who has this very wise, angelic, sort of vibe about her because of her facial features. I think it's just fascinating the way our brains perceive people's faces. And definitely Somalia is sort of kind and sympathetic, I think is a good word to use. Sympathetic eyes definitely plays into that. Lastly, my number one for the most beautiful face is the Dominican Republic. I think this woman's face, like the actual dimensions of her face, are as near perfect as can be. She does not have one feature out of place. All of her features are in perfect harmony and I definitely think her coloring plays into that as well. I think all of her features are in great harmony with her coloring and just everything about her I think is near perfect to be honest with you. That's why it was so difficult for me to choose between number one and number two. For Dominican Republic, actually, I do not get any distinct essence from her face. I do not feel that she is particularly angelic. I do not feel that she is particularly giving us very strong queenly vibes. But I think that might be part of the appeal that you can sort of project yourself onto this woman. I don't know. I don't want to. I'm starting to sound very Freudian to be honest with you and I think I should just stop. Let me know what you guys think about my top 10 Do you agree? Who would you put as number one? I would love to know Thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye